What's up everyone? I'm gonna show you how to create buy orders in the market on MLB The Show 23 to get the live series collection done for a lot less stubs and a lot quicker. So basically each one of these cards in the live series collection, I'll back out so I can show you. If you go to live series collection and then each team has their own collection. So when you get these cards, you're gonna have to collect all of them to get the top reward. And then eventually once you get all of those, you can do the, the divisions and then the league and then the final card. So these cards each have a market value. Now, a lot of players basically will collect these cards. If they get a duplicate, they'll sell it or they'll quick sell it. So you can either sell it to the market for whoever has created a buy order for that card, or you can quick sell it at a value that the game sets a price for. So for example, Josh Naylor, he's got a buy now price of 118. So what I'm gonna do is go to the market, buy sell options, and then I'm gonna create a buy order, and I'm gonna see if I can get away with something like 55 stubs. Order posted, so that worked. So this is a lot better than paying 117 for this card, and it really adds up when you do this across all of the cards. So you do have to put some time in to do this, but if you take the time aside to do this for every team and every card, uh, you'll end up spending a lot less money or a lot less stubs, I guess, in the game for getting these cards and completing the live series collection rewards. Now, sometimes you'll have to play around with it and see what their quick sell price is. So this Shane Bieber, his buy now is 1,022 stubs. I'm gonna go to a little bit lower card. So if we go to uh, Ahmed Rosario, 299. So instead of buying this for 299, I'm gonna create a buy order and see if I can get away with something like 89 stubs. Now, I'm gonna get a message saying that your price is less than the quick sell value of 150 stubs. So that means if it, someone gets this card and wants to sell it, they're either gonna sell for someone who created a buy order uh, for more than 150 stubs, or they're just gonna sell for 150 quick sell. So since this is listed at 299 and the quick sell is 150, it still is worth it to put in a buy order. It's really up to your discretion to tell whether it's worth it to create a buy order or not, depending on how many stubs you have. If you have a lot of stubs, it usually is more worth it to do it for these higher end cards too. So I'm gonna create a buy order. I'm gonna do 160. All right, so now the order is posted. Now his quick sell value might drop. So when you do this, uh, there's a 10% um, tax on it. So basically this person can either quick sell the card for 150 or they can sell it to me for 144. They're gonna do whatever's gonna get them more stuff. So it would actually have been better for me to put in a buy order of something like 175 so that they would get more stubs if they sold it to me than if they quick sold it to the market, all right? So you're gonna have to play around and go, to, uh, go through all these cards and do it. It works a lot better if you do it on these lower end cards, um, like 45, so I'm gonna create a buy order. I bet his quick sell is probably five, so I'm gonna create a buy order of like 11. The seller will get 10, finalize order, order posted. So these add up, it's better for me, for me to pay 10 stubs. And if you see in the top right there, my buy order was completed um, for Jose Tenya for 11, 11 stubs. So they take the stubs right away. You don't get the card right away until someone completes that transaction or there was a, a, a list and order ready to go. So you're gonna get all of these lower end cards um, a lot quicker than you would for the higher end cards. These diamonds, you're really just gonna have to rely on getting packs, opening packs, uh, playing the game and collecting packs because um, you don't wanna have to go, go through and buy these, whether you're buying it now or creating a buy order, they're still gonna be expensive either way. So it's kind of a, uh, a little bit of a, a, a trick you can pull um, on, the, on the market by doing it for cards that are like low golds or below that. Um, some rare cards have really high prices because they're just hard to get in the game um, or they're just rare there's not a lot of them out there for some reason so I'm gonna go to this bronze Tyler Freeman this buy now is 82 create a buy order of uh, let's say 41 seller gets 37 I could probably go lower than that actually let's see if we can go lower I'll go 26 order posted all right so like i said it's going to add up the more you do this um 
with if you do it through all the collections and all the cards you're going to end up spending a lot less stubs on these cards and you're going to complete the live series collection and get the rewards a lot quicker and for a lot less stubs all right i hope you liked it so uh, click subscribe and drop any comments if you have any tips that i don't know of or i didn't tell you in this video about the live series collection and how to get cards um and i hope you enjoyed the video